And we're going to talk about another spicy odd game that he's got coming out on Kickstarter August 24th. And this one's called Mining Colony. I think this is the one that Jesse and them uh, kind of played at Dice Tower Con. Do I have the right one? Jesse and John uh, Newman? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is. Yeah. Uh, it has. Let me think what version that was. I don't know which version because I. So this game was originally in the Cosmic Run universe. Correct. So I have a series called Cosmic Run, um, but I decided to pull it out from there. And in the process of pulling it out, I changed the rules. Cons- I, sorry, it, I, I had a Kickstarter for it and it almost funded and it stopped short, you know, like a couple thousand short. So I decided to re rename it. And also I changed it considerably from the Kickstarter. Uh, but they, yeah, they played the newer version because it, it, the Kickstarter originally only went one to two. It was a two player so game. I remember that. Yeah. So I figured if I made it to a four player game, that would help, help it. So tell about, tell us about mining colony. So it's not, it's not called cosmic run mining colony anymore. It's mining colony placed, uh, up to four yeah. players. And if I remember, does, does, well, go ahead. You, you tell us about right. how. So, so the basic idea is uh, your planet is is losing a lot of resources. You need some stuff. So you go to a nearby planet and you're setting up a mining colony. And uh, it is a you know polynomial game, Tetris-like shapes. And what you're trying to do is you are uh, bidding. There's like a bidding board in the middle with resource zones. So there's sure. excavation zones that have the different resources up at the top. Everybody has a unique set of uh, bidding cards. Uh, for la- they're called excavation cards, but for the lack of a better word, it's bidding. And you'll play one of them, and the lowest number gets to choose you know, the resources first. And as you're collecting resources, you have to fit them on your board. Not only do you just have to have the places, uh, the, the shapes fit, but the shapes have various characteristics on it where you can put certain kinds of items and the way that you line up items is the way that you can score bonuses. So just as one example, everybody's trying to build outposts. And the way you build an outpost is to have a, a ship and an astronaut of the same color exactly one space apart within, with basically an, uh, an unmarked spot in between them. Oh, and like an empty space. when you can do that, you get to build an outpost. But the outposts are limited to one fewer than the number of players. So not everyone during the game is going to be able to build it. Um, so, I mean, that's just like one of the many things that you're trying to do. If you don't build an outpost, is that going to pretty much take you out of the running? No, no, not at all. Because oh. there's like there's there's uh, three different colors of outposts. And so on a four player game, there's uh you know nine outposts and then there's a similar thing there's science stations that you're also trying to build and they're only worth two points each whereas like the things that you're putting down are worth one um if you don't build any at all of any of the colors yeah then you're not gonna you're probably not gonna win but you'll also lose points at the end for not filling in your board uh and also the cards like at the end whoever has the highest value of the cards remaining in their hand Scores a considerable number of points, um, and there's some you bonuses. Well, I have a, like a promo pack that has bonuses along the way. So if you don't build one of the outposts, Uh-oh. you're probably okay. But if you don't build any of the outposts, you're probably going to be in trouble. Did we lose you? Yeah, yeah. Doc? No, okay. no, I'm, I'm back. Yeah, yeah. All right. So that's kind of so like sub-off. saying, you know, in Car in Carcassonne, if you never put a guy in a castle, you know, yeah. I don't know if you're going to win. Yeah. <laughs> or complete a, any castle. Right. Brody, you got any questions about Money Colony? I'm curious about the time. What you got? That is really cool looking. And that one goes to four or five? Four. One to four. That's a solo mode. Oh, solo mode. Oh, yeah. one to four. Ooh, solo yeah. players out there. Steve Finn taking care of you with that. Um, and Biblios uh, Quill and Parchment does as well. He, oh, yeah. oh, it also has a solo mode also? Yeah, 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 yeah. Interesting. Mining Colony. Uh, I like the polynomials. Um you have to like the Carl Orange. Oh, there's a lot of orange on this thing. Wow. Yes. 
Uh, where is our buddy Christian Strain? He's going to love this game. There's so much orange in there, man. <laughs> He's going to love that. Mining and that's coming up on Kickstarter uh, August 24th. It's going to be a package of all of the 2020 games for Dr. Finn's games. Isn't that right? 2021. 2021. 2021. Yep. Yeah, sorry. Yep. That's right. Your 2020 offerings for uh, for distribution, you know, for right. delivery in 2021. Yeah. Yes. So that is Mining Colony. Check that one out.